Hey guys, this is gonna be a quick video on why we went all in on monday.com for property management. I'm also gonna go over some of the things that we've just really liked as we've configured for property management and should hopefully give you some ideas on what you can do with your build. So before we landed on monday.com, we had tried quite a few different tools out in the market. And what we were looking for was something that had a really nice interface and had all the integrations that we wanted. Coming from an automation background, we were really looking for a tool that we could push the boundaries on what is already in the market today and be, be able to just innovate and kind of future-proof our PMs over time. So first, let's talk about the board view. What the board view is, is it's very similar to a spreadsheet. And we build out one of these boards for every process in a property management company. So here's an example of a renewals board. What we really like about this is that we can pull in the columns that we want to. So for renewal, you're seeing the month of July. We put in a lot of automation behind these different statuses so that we can see exactly where a property is at in a process at a glance. Another thing that's cool about these views is that you can make as many custom views as you want. So if you have staff members that work with each other on a specific board, you can give those team members specific views of that board to show them just the data that they care about. So the next view that got me really excited was the item view. And what's really cool about this, when you click on an item and you open it up in a board, you can create a view in here using what they call information boxes. And you can select specific columns that you wanna see and arrange them in whatever order you want to. So this has been super valuable to us when it comes to automating a process as far as we can, and also just reducing the onboarding time for the team. So when your process is broken down like this and it goes step by step on what to do, it's, it becomes a lot simpler for the staff to onboard this new technology into your operations. So we've had tremendous success with these type of views. So definitely check them out. So what's really nice with Monday is they have a good chart library where you can pull in any data in the system that you want and visualize that. So we've seen a lot of really cool ones. Um, this one here, this is just an example showing, you know, you can see live data of your average rent, active units, that kind of stuff. And then also more specific data, like I want to see my days onboarding or my average days on market. So you're able to pull reports like rolling 12 months, averages across the team. I've seen these split up if, if your PM runs in pods. I've seen this data split up by team. And so that's really cool. And then next we have, yeah, your SMS and your phone. So there is SMS and phone integrations. We recommend using Twilio for SMS and Ring Central for your unified phone system. So you can interface and directly out of your Monday board, send SMS and make the phone calls. So now let's talk about what we can pair Monday.com with to really take your automation up to another level. Okay, so this is our stack here at Launch Engine. These are our preferred tools. I love make.com. Uh, we pair that with Monday to run a lot of our advanced automation. There's also Zapier as well, which is comparable to make. And then SendGrid. SendGrid is for professional emails that go out. It's a very cheap tool that you can really take your emails up to the next level. And Pandadoc is our favorite document signing tool. Their modern API has been great. As we've implemented a lot of leases, PMAs, and lease renewals, we haven't really found anything in there that we couldn't do with Pandadoc. So that's been our go-to. And then also JotForm. So let me say that Monday does have their own forms and they're getting better. There's a lot of things I really like about them, but we do have some really cool tools that I'll come out with in another video on how you can leverage a job form to go out and collect missing documents for you. And it's really cool. So next let's cover, yeah, professional reactive emails with SendGrid. So these emails are super cool and we send them out with just the button. We press the button. You can provide notes if you need to, and we'll have custom variables in those emails if you need an additional note in there. What the reactive emails are and what I used to call just emails with buttons that I was super crazy about when, when we first implemented these is we're, we're controlling the inputs uh, that are coming into our system. So instead of an owner or a tenant just responding in an email uh, with a yes or no or whatever else, it's a lot better and it's a lot more automated and organized when we can give them buttons. 
So in this example up here, uh, we're giving the owner renewal notification and the typical choices there are yes or let's discuss. And so if they press yes, it's going to trigger the tenant renewal offer. And if the tenant says yes, then it triggers the drafting of the lease downstream. So there's a lot of automation you can put behind these reactive emails. But let's say a tenant does not want to renew. What's one of the next things that you need to gather? It's going to be their forwarding address for the security deposit. So we will put a form behind that button for them to fill out their forwarding address and, and different data that we'll need and say the move out process. Next one we have here is uh, lease signing with PandaDoc. So I showed that a little bit and really just single click of a button. We're pre-populating documents. What's really cool is we can track when they've been created. We can track when they go out and when the signing is complete. When the document has been signed, we can automate the upload to Monday and also the automate the upload to your PMS as well. So it's been really good for going and getting things signed and then saving them where they need to be. So yeah, the next thing here is uh, integrating Monday with your PMS. So we've integrated with quite a few different property management systems. These are our two favorites right now. So Buildium and Rentvine, they've been awesome. Integrating with those and connecting them to their APIs is going to take your automation to a different level than just trying to do this outside of your PMS system. And so there's, we're eliminating the duplication of data entry through that process and being able to track changes throughout the day back into your monday.com workspace. Next thing we really like about Monday is the pricing. We typically use the pro plan here, and that's because it comes with the most native automations at 25K per month. So you're looking about $20 per seat per month. What we like about this is that it's not connected to your door count, like a lot of tools specifically in property management. So as you grow your PM, as you automate further and reduce the amount of seats that it takes to run your company, uh, this cost actually should go down and make more sense over time and be more scalable for you. Transitioning over to any new software tool, let alone an automated system, it can be it can come with a lot of challenges, and particularly in determining where to start and the best practices for optimization. So while it is a powerful tool, initial setup and that learning curve can be difficult for you and your PM to take on, typically because you just don't have enough time uh, to really dig in the weeds and solve all these problems yourself. So consulting teams like ours at Launch Engine, we specialize in refining these property management processes and can help tailor Monday.com to best fit your business. So to wrap it up, we like Monday.com because of its user interface it, and its connections to all of the software tools that we need. Uh, we love to funnel the communications through different ticketing systems, having SMS and phone integrations. The reactive emails is a huge feature that saves us a lot of time. Automating document signing, having all of that in one place and one screen helps a lot. And we really like the pricing model. I, I think that $19 per seat is a reasonable price for what you get. And so anyways, if you like to cut the learning curve, make automation easy, check out Launch Engine. We have launchengine.com. Also, check out our Facebook group, monday.com for property managers. We're going to be giving away a lot of different tips in there on how to optimize your system. And also, we're always on the lookout for what the new features are that are coming out with Monday and how they translate into value for your PM. So be on the lookout for that link in the description.